A cappuccino is a coffee drink made with espresso and steamed milk. The most striking thing about this drink is the milk foam on top. A soothing, consistent layer of foam is what sets a great cappuccino apart from lesser drinks. There's a greater part art than science in making the perfect cappuccino. Although it takes time to perfect the timing and method of pouring, having a firm knowledge of the basics will get you on your way towards the ultimate cup. Pour brewed espresso into your cappuccino cup. Although specifics will depend on the type of cappuccino and the person making it, cappuccinos are roughly one quarter espresso and three quarters steamed milk. Pour your desired amount of brewed espresso into a large cappuccino cup before you steam the milk. That way, you have everything ready so you can pour out the steamed milk while it's still piping hot. Grind the espresso. If you have a high quality burr grinder, use it to grind enough beans for one espresso shot. The burrs will do a better job of grinding the beans than a cheap metal blade. Grind the espresso on one of the finest settings so the beans are as fine as granulated sugar. Grind enough beans to get about 14 grams of espresso. You use this to pull one 1 ounce, 30 milliliters, shot. Or you could use 18 grams to make a double shot. If you don't have a grinder, you can ask your local coffee shop to grind the beans on their espresso setting. Heat the espresso machine. Turn on the machine about 15 to 30 minutes before you plan to use it and pull a blank shot so the machine has a chance to heat up. If your machine isn't connected to a water source, pour water into the tank and ensure that the portifilter is in the machine. Turn the machine on to pull a blank shot of water through the brew head and into an espresso cup or shot glass. While all machines are different, you just need to practice to learn the specifics of using your machine. Read your espresso machine's manual to learn how it should be used. Fill a steam pitcher with cold milk. Steam pitchers are specifically designed to heat liquid through steaming. Most traditional cappuccinos are served as 6 ounce portions, although many North American outlets prefer a 12 ounce version. Use 3 quarters cup to 1 and a half cups of milk, depending on your preference. Steam the milk until it's hot. Steaming milk gives cappuccinos their heat and bubbly quality. You should aim to keep your steamed milk between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For the sake of drinkability, it's important not to steam milk past 170 degrees. Use your steamed milk quickly. The longer steamed milk is left out, the less palatable it will be in a cappuccino. Milk is very sensitive to heat and should only be steamed right before it's injected into the cappuccino mug. Pour the hot milk into the cappuccino cup. A cappuccino should be served in a coffee cup and you ultimately need to combine the milk with the espresso. The trick here is to pour the milk in slowly. Any quick movements will risk compromising the foam. Add cinnamon or chocolate flakes to your foam. Cappuccinos are valued for their presentation almost as much as their taste. Cinnamon and chocolate flakes will help to add to both. Once you have your foam settled, sprinkle these on as an afterthought. 
Even if you're making it from home, this technique can make your cappuccino look like a professional delicacy. Use proper cappuccino cups. Cappuccino cups should be small, plain, elegant and handled. Depending on the size of your cappuccino, the cups you choose should hold up to 12 ounces. Cappuccinos take more effort to make than regular coffee, so you shouldn't use any old cup for it. Even if you think aesthetics don't matter, you may nonetheless find you enjoy the drink more if you put due respect into the way it's served. Thanks you for watching the video until the end. I hope you can make this coffee by yourself. Please like and subscribe.